you know what, I thought we came out with great energy, and I thought that was a result of the kids in the building. They were electric. Uh, special shout out and thank you to our head track coach, Rich Jones, that was uh, DJing. I think the kids come for the music and TikTok dances more than the basketball, but we're the recipient of that because their energy, it was just crazy. Even our kids in warm-ups, they came back in the locker room before the game with a good sweat, uh, and they deserve that. They deserve that. Starting out, building a program, um, there are a lot of things that you have to focus on. And, and as we continue to build this, we're, we're going to get more butts in seats continuously, not just at an elementary school game, but there are things that we came in on a foundation level that we had to hit first. But this Southern Illinois community has shown that they will support a good product. And that's our job is to continue to build the product where we can build a winner, where, where the community will continue to come out and support these young ladies because they deserve it. What, uh, it seemed like, you know, we talked about pressing teams being teams that, you know, go on big runs. You had yeah. the one to start the game and you had 20 to three in the third quarter. Yeah. It just kind of seemed like you, you kind of got everything clicking on both ends of the floor, defense fed into offense. Yeah. And you know, that was our number one key for the game. I said we would create offensive opportunities through our defensive pressure. Now what we have to do is clean up our hands and everything because we're getting a little touchy. Uh, fouls that we get called on us would change the way we want to play. But generally in a ball game like this, we only had 64 possessions to their 57. Normally we have 20 plus more possessions than our opponent, um, but we couldn't when we have to be handcuffed a little bit um, from getting out there and creating deflections. We had high deflections in both those quarters. When I go back and stat the second and third quarter, I know they'll be ridiculous in terms of uh, in terms of deflections, but that's how we want to play. Um, Q's pressure starts it, and then we had kids coming in before getting deflections. I'd be remiss if I didn't talk about um, Angela Samuel coming in. She came in, and, and the game plan was to stay with the ball handler, and sometimes we were too quick to get back to the post, which opened up the lane for those guards mm -hmm. that were getting downhill. Angela stayed with them, had some blocks, uh, got some rebounds, but she held us down in the second and third quarter uh, when we were in some foul trouble. You look at that, and then you're talking about that place 10 minutes, but she has a plus 11. That That's not just a, a, a deal of being on the court when yeah. people are making shots in her case, is it? Those are things you don't see. Those are things you don't see. And that young lady has a big heart. Anytime she's been in this country about four months now, and she's questioning everything, is her value there to the team? And I said, baby, you just got here. You're a freshman. I said, you're a freshman, but your, your time is coming. Just keep doing what you're doing. We're telling her to focus on defense and rebounding, and that's what she's doing. But her teammates, you heard our kids speak about the connection and the love. Our teammates are speaking life to them, and that's all we're doing when people are saying, hey, what's changed? What's the, the? We're, we're empowering our kids, and that's part of my job, but my staff is an extension of that, and you're seeing young ladies start to believe in themselves that they deserve these opportunities. Lanaya gets another double-double. Just seems like for whatever one reason or another, maybe it's the production she's had lately, it seems like she's found a different level yeah. of, of play these last few games. Is it just the energy you were talking about it the is. other day? It is, but when you look at it, I'm more impressed with the double-double part for those rebounds because she creates opportunities for herself. Yeah, I'm calling a few more plays for her. But what I try to tell my young kids on that bench is Lanaya's calling her own plays when she's flying around getting those offensive boards, when she's creating more opportunities by being up the line, uh, getting deflections and taking off on the break. So she's teaching my younger ones that energy. Energy, the game honors toughness. And, and she that's just a tough kid right there. But she's playing in her, I don't want to say box, but you see her doing what she's comfortable at, the mid-range jumper. They close out, she's attacking the line. And then those putbacks and scoring in transition, she can continue that if she continues that effort. You touched on the field trip day yeah. earlier, but 5,000 kids, a program record for single games. I want you to talk to me a little bit more about the Southern Illinois community support and just how fun yeah. it was getting to play in front of those screaming kids. You know what? I had some changes on my staff, and Coach Webb is from uh, Marissa Webb is from Poplar Bluff. Um, I intentionally recruited somebody locally that was from this region that knew she's worked in Harrisburg. She's been in this area uh, before. And when I assigned, I call it elementary school day, field trip day, when I assigned that to her, 
she said, Coach, we're going to double that number. And I was like, oh, okay, kid, <laughs> go go for it, you know, or whatever. But I said, don't, don't double the number financially for us. Figure out a way, you know, to get those kids here without us breaking the bank as well through sponsorships and everything like that. And I give her tremendous credit because she took the baby under her arm, worked with, through our administration and Learfield to help do a tremendous job. It's important because it doesn't end with just this game. We're getting into those schools. We're doing reading opportunities with those schools. We're doing PE, giving the teachers a break at PE, going to do things. I tell all those superintendents and all those teachers that were here, please utilize us because it's a huge responsibility of ours. And we want to be accountable. If we're going to wear Southern Illinois and Saluki across our chest, we want to be and make sure we're reciprocating the love. So it's just special seeing those kids here. I gave our kids a poem called Little Eyes Are Watching. And I told them that you got boys and girls that are growing up. They just watched our men last night. They're here watching us. Those little kids think you're rock stars. And they're watching everything you do, how you handle adversity through a referee's call, how you handle coaching. If I got to get on your case, are you high five and are you having fun? So you have a chance to inspire today and take that responsibility seriously. And I think our kids did. I love seeing them in the crowd after the games. How important was it that you guys got off to such a fast start in this game? And how did you know that momentum continue throughout the game? It was huge. It was huge because I told our kids I didn't like our energy our last two days of practice. We've got the new scoreboard and everything, which has displaced us. And we've been at Davies, the rec. We've been everywhere traveling uh, to practice uh, to get in. So this was our first night really back in Banterra the day before uh, with a practice. I knew we would be a little off. But I told our kids, I want to run. I want to run and I want to push tempo. Y'all can't hear me. That means you got to call the show, and you can do that through transition. So I thought it started with our defensive effort, getting them off balance, locking down 33. Um, and it, it was tremendous. I mean, we have to have starts like that because it just feeds our confidence, and we just keep playing through it. Karen, what was it like to play in front of 5,000 kids today? <laughs> it was loud, for sure. Um, I, I think that we all kind of built off of that energy that we had. I definitely think it was fun. We, of course, don't always have that many fans in the crowd and so to be able to play with that much energy it's definitely fun for all of us we just uh, definitely enjoy it. It seemed like you had two big runs because of it at the start of the game and then like last six minutes of the third quarter how much were you able to feed off that? I mean like I said like we're not used to that much energy in the gym so when we're hearing the screaming and the yelling um, we definitely kind of ramped it up because it it fuels us in a way so that definitely helped with our runs. Team's been playing pretty well lately, despite being a little shorthanded. What's been, what's been the secret to that? Just kind of sticking together. With each and every game, it's a different uh, com competition, different competitors that we have to play against, and so it's just kind of being able to sit back and when we see who we're competing against, what we have to do, and actually executing that. So our execution and just being together have been two of the things that we've really honed in on the last few games and helped us get to victories. What have you thought of how Lanias picked up her play here lately? Seems oh, yeah. Like she's kind of gone up a few notches. Nia's <laughs> been balling. Uh, she's been balling. Like, I feel like, I mean, she's hard to guard. So it's like, it's a, she's the type of person you want on your team, for sure. She's always got that energy. She's a high energy ball, and she gets us great buckets. So we appreciate all the effort she puts in for us. Bucky just talked about, you know, the 5,000 kids. Is this a game that you look forward to playing in every year? No, for sure. Um, the energy in that gym is electric. If you were in there, you're able to feel how loud it is. Of course, you know, sometimes you want to cover your ears a little bit. You're like, oh, my goodness. But the energy is electric. And you, you can fall in love with being in front of that kind of crowd every day. So, Talk to me about the fast start that you guys got off to. How imperative was that, you know, to continue that momentum just throughout the whole entire game? It's easy to win when you're starting ahead. So I feel like we – our plan is to get out and punch them in the in the neck first. Like we're, we want to step on them before they get the chance to step on us, and I feel like that's what we did. It's e it's easier to just kind of keep that going and keep that ramping because then the energy falls on the person that's up, and it, it helps us a lot. You're an upperclassman on the team. You're a leader on this team. Talk to me about this group of girls on this team last year. You guys, you know, are all playing together this year. You can see it on the bench. Everyone's having a good time. What is it about this group? We have family everywhere. Uh, we write it on our walls. We write it on our, on the backs and everything like that. And I feel like this year, this team has kind of made itself a family. Uh, we're more of a sisterhood. We're more looking out for each other. We want each other to win. We want everybody to win. We're like, we're happy that Nia's going off one game. Sierra's going off the next. Um, just kind of that. We're 
<coughs> making sure that we have each other's backs in the end of the day and we're just being family at, uh, after it all, so. Lanaya, what was it like to play in front of 5,000 uh, kids uh, that made, made this such a loud, fun environment today? Um, it felt good. Uh, it was very exciting, you know, because we're not, that's not something we're used to. So it was just good to see a lot of people in the stands and coming down here to support us. So yeah, I was very excited. To piggyback off something Gabby just asked Tyranny, how important was that fast start the team got off to today? Can you repeat the question? <laughs> to piggyback off something Gabby just asked Tyranny, how important was the fast start this team got off to today? When you were up 16 to four early in the game, how important was that? Um, it was very important. Um, I don't know. Can we do the next question? <laughs> I don't know. I'll, or, oh, go, I'll take it a step further. Then they got within six in the third quarter, and I think it was like a 20 to three run. Uh, you know, what what was the difference in that run? What did you guys do better in that in that stretch that helped you blow the game open? Uh, we were just very aggressive, you know, running the floor, and. That was very. That was really it. We was just very aggressive, and we wanted it, so that was really it. You hit the. You hit hard there. I think it was late in the first quarter. It looked, mm -hmm. looked like you were hurt, and then you came back pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, was it? What, what did they do to, to get you up and running again so quick? Um. Really, it wasn't nothing that was done. It was just. Well, I stretched, of course, but really what kept me playing and just pushing through it with my teammates you know i just felt like i had to be out there on the floor with them you know and that was really it <laughs> sorry no you're good you're doing a good job i, I suck at this no, i can't i really suck at this i can't yeah all right keep getting double doubles we're gonna keep yeah yeah that's the deal right well speaking of which you had the double double what was clicking for you today uh Really, it's just the chemistry on the floor. Like the way we all like play together and move, it just makes me feel more comfortable out there. Like I can play how I want to play. I can do what I want to do, you know. It's just our chemistry as a team. Like they, they get me open, I get them open. Uh, we all feed each other. We all, you know, we just know how everybody like plays on the floor and we know like what everybody likes to do. So yeah, that's really it. Yeah. Speaking of that chemistry, you know, talk to me about this group, this team, this year, you know, maybe different from yeah, uh, it's just a connection there. We all are very tight, and we it's just love. Like, I'll go to war for everybody on this team. Uh, I love them dearly, and it's just a bond and connection that we all have on and off the court. That's what we do off the court is what brings our chemistry on the court. And then with this field trip day, is this something that you look forward to? Is this a game that you look forward to playing in every year? Yeah, it's very exciting, and I just like seeing a lot of people in the stands. That's, it's just, again, something we're not used to, so it just feels good.